Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for coming back and if you are new here my name's Arena and on here I talk about a mixture of things but this video specifically is a little bit more um personal development personal growth and just sort of getting the best out of life i guess um i am in the car yes it's one of the the days where i am non-stop um but there's been something that i want to share with you guys um and I want to jump on here and do that so don't forget if you enjoy my content if you like what we talk about on here don't forget to give me that thumbs up share subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos from me and yes yeah, stay tuned and we will dry dry we will dive into the topic for today so today i wanted to talk to you about setting yourself standards and boundaries and that sort of thing and the reason why I say this is because very recently I have been experiencing um, something that's kind of thrown me off a little bit from who I let's say know myself to be and <clears throat> there are times in life where I'm sure we've all been there where you perhaps we'll use my example you meet someone um, or you're in a situation and you want to and maybe you like that person or you really want something let's say and you find yourself being invested in something and they may be a part of you that's scared that if you put down the same sort of boundaries or the same sort of standards and you go in strong like that, that person, let's say, may run off. And this is a little bit kind of the situation I'm finding myself in or I have found myself in very, very recently. And I've done a little bit of soul searching because over the past few years, I've been very um, strong in myself and I've really known exactly what I wanted. I've known exactly who I am. You know, there, was, there hasn't been anything where I felt like, you know, I'm going to deviate from that, let's say. Um, but interestingly enough, recently I have met a person and I found myself starting to think if maybe my boundaries and my standards and all of that are a little bit too high and maybe designed to block things from growing or progressing now the reason I've, I've reflected on this and the reason why I've started to feel that way is because I am invested in a person and I've actually found someone who I like and who you know is a lot of the things that I would want in someone now it is very tempting when we like someone or we are a bit more invested in someone to start to make sacrifice to start to compromise on our own on our own standards on our own boundaries it is very 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 tempting because at the end of the day you might have a really good thing you might have met a great person you might have a great opportunity etc 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 so i've had to do a little bit of soul searching because i i have found myself slipping a little bit if you like and having reflected on the situation i would like to just share this with you guys it may help someone else the truth of the matter is, and I'm speaking from a place of really going through it right now, if you have boundaries and you have standards and you have things you truly believe in and things that you know are what you want and how you would want things to be, and if you start to compromise on those things, you won't be happy. You won't ultimately you will more than likely become resentful because you won't get what you really want and 
when the excitement fades and when the you know honeymoon phase fades you'll realize that you should have upheld your standards and your boundaries and that's not a nice place to be because at that point you know it's really difficult to go back and so what i've realized is actually much easier to stay strong from the beginning and if the people or the person that you are dealing with if they get scared by those things and if they, they pull away whatever you know whatever their reaction is if that person then starts to fade from your life or if they start to ghost you or if they start to block you whatever that's not the person for you and it's hard to do that in the beginning because I, well it's the hardest to do that in the beginning especially if you really like someone because you know everything's much more intense in the beginning you know there's that excitement there's the newness of it all there's the potential of what could be and if someone makes you feel really nice in the moment etc it's it's difficult to do that but it's short-term pain for a long long-term gain Whereas if you go along with it, it's long-term pain for that short-term gratification and excitement and things like that. And I think this is perhaps something that maybe not a lot of people think about because I know a lot of my friends where they've been advising me in this, they're like, oh, well, you know, just go with it. Just see what happens. You know, don't overthink it, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, there's, there's point to that as well. So I'm not dismissing that completely because... You know we can all overthink things but what i've also realized is a lot of people that may advise in that respect aren't necessarily looking for the same thing i am and perhaps they would be happy with something a little less like what i want and it's just difficult because everyone around you isn't as in, isn't isn't the people that advise you in these situations aren't really going to be the people that are then in your shoes three months six months later dealing with the disappointment of, of yourself having sacrificed your boundaries and not not standing up for yourself etc etc they're not going to be in that situation so from the get-go they're not going to be as invested and they're not going to say to you you know stay strong you know deal with the difficult thing right now most most often they're not they're not going to say that um, so I want to be the voice that perhaps if you know something's exciting right now and maybe you're even thinking, oh, should I maybe, you know, for example, should I maybe sleep with the guy earlier? Should I maybe, you know, not mention the fact that I don't like that he hasn't introduced me to people? Or should I may maybe not rock the boat and say, well, look, I want more than just casual or anything like that. It's very difficult to do because you don't want to shake the boat if something is going well but at the same time you know how far do you let it go before you stand up for your you know what you believe that you deserve etc etc so and the reason and for me i've found myself in the situation and i've been you know i'm really happy that i've decided to just be completely upfront and completely honest and to tie into my last video about being vulnerable and also staying confident, I feel like for me, I'm quite an authentic person and I've made myself very clear to this person as to how I feel about them. But at the same time, I'm not going to, you know, just because I like someone, I'm not going to tolerate less than I deserve. And I've been very honest about both of it, of those elements. I've been very upfront. And I believe that that's the only way that you will ever truly find out if someone's really genuinely serious about you and, you know, can respect your boundaries and can respect your standards and at the same time show you the sort of commitment and the short, sort of investment that you know you deserve. And when a person hears all of that information and wants to do things right... Um, and you know they still want to be there and they want to do whatever is most respectful towards you etc etc and when they can communicate about this honestly even for me even if you know things don't progress any further I always feel so much better for having done that and for knowing that I didn't sacrifice myself I didn't compromise on myself and I didn't just tolerate things that I know aren't what I'm about and it's hard to do that in the moment. It's really hard and scary. Um, but after you've done it, 
you get a true uh you get a true response from that person and you know exactly where you stand and you can move forward knowing you've stood your ground knowing you've respected yourself knowing that you've given yourself the grace and the kindness and the respect that you deserve and if the person like i said if they turn away and if they walk away from you or they go a bit funny or you know they start to disrespect you whatever you've got to realize that that is not the sort of person you would want to be with anyway so it's really there's no it's win-win at this point because if they walk away you've got rid of a person that was never going to be respectful of you in the first place and if they come in closer and try and you know do better then or like move forward with you then that's someone you really do want to give uh, things a try with and it just makes me so happy to say this because i i do think it's really hard to do and i've had the support of other people on youtube and watch my own videos and kind of pulled up the courage to do this because it's really not easy especially when you've definitely got a connection with someone you've definitely got chemistry you know all of the boxes are ticked but maybe there's something about it that you don't quite find right for you um so if in my situation um it's someone that's not ready for a relationship let's say um, but all of the pieces are there and you know it's a it's a lovely connection etc etc but you know this person has given me the information to know that they're not ready for something right now and while there's nothing wrong with that because I can totally understand sometimes people just aren't there yet and there's you know nothing wrong with that I think honesty and communication is so so important um knowing that i think you know for me it was important to also respect myself in the situation and not ignore that you know i do want a relationship let's say or i want something with a potential to go there um and i'm not you know someone that's gonna do the casual thing and i think it's important to know yourself at this point and obviously i'm using my example which is very personal to me but it's important in whatever situation you are in life and you can apply this to jobs you can apply it to relationships you can apply it to friendships i think sometimes in our lives we don't speak up our truth or like if we've got a problem with something we may not say it because it's number one i suppose a lot of people don't like conflict a lot of people don't like rocking the boat in whatever situation but more often than not if you don't do that and i'm saying don't do that about every little thing i'm saying pick your battles but if it's an important point and if it's something that's bothering you and you don't raise it i mean is that really a two-way friendship or relationship or situation it probably isn't because you're not speaking your truth and you're putting the other person or that situation above your own happiness and your own um you know respect for yourself and the, the needs you've got and the desires you've got so i would just encourage you if you are in a situation like that in any way like i said life friendships whatever it is important to speak your truth because i think with the right person in the right situation in the right environment you're not gonna that's not gonna be ignored it's gonna be respected and it's gonna be worked on and communicated and it means that you can both have a better result out of that and you can actually grow together and you can actually create something even better for the both of you or you know if you in a, in a situation in your life if you speak your truth and things change for the better then that's great if they don't change then you know that situation probably is not as deserving of your time of your investment etc 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 i hope that makes sense and i hope it's helped someone out there because i do find sometimes when i li listen to these videos they really help me pull through something that i'm going through myself and you know i'm not a coach i'm not a therapist i'm not I'm not claiming to, do, to be any of those things, but I'm a person, I'm a woman, I'm a girl, I'm trying to navigate, you know, many things in life. And sometimes I find myself in, you know, the place that most, well, many, many people find themselves in. And I think I need those words of encouragement. Sometimes I need to reassure myself that I'm doing the right thing to a certain extent. And sometimes when I do these videos, I think, you know, if I had someone to advise me right now, what do I want? to hear i mean what would i want them to say and how would i want to feel after that and i hope this has given someone the okay that it's okay to 
speak your truth and it's okay to stand up for yourself it's okay to respect yourself and it's okay to not compromise and not um well not compromise on your you know fundamental things like really important things um, on your standards on your self-respect etc thank you again for watching for listening i hope you all have a fabulous day and if you do enjoy my content don't forget give me that thumbs up share subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos from me as well have a great day guys and i'll see you in my next one